But really, if you think about this term data storytelling, if you would have gone back 10 years, you would not hear that term. And in fact, if you do a little search on the Google Ngram uh, functionality, data storytelling doesn't appear until about 10 years ago. Then all of a sudden, there's this growing interest. It starts slow, but then all of a sudden, it's like exponential. And now everyone's talking about data storytelling. And when I heard this term the first, first time around, I went, oh, wow, that's very interesting. Sounds like what I'm interested in. I started digging into what people were talking about. And guess what? They were talking about data. They were talking about visualization. And there was no stories. Right? And I thought, oh, my God, we're, like, we're missing the, 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 the vital element of this. And, and so I set about saying, OK, how do we bring story into data storytelling? Which seems crazy, doesn't it, that um, you know, we should be even thinking about that. So I guess over the last six years or so, I've been sort of getting together a bit of an approach, a bit of a method, I guess. I've been teaching lots of data analysts uh, around the world um, on how to take complex, messy data and turn it into something that would make sense to a decision maker. And that's the key point. What you're trying to do with data storytelling is you're trying to inspire a decision maker to take an action. Right? That's, the, that's the vital outcome. Um,